I'm sorry. <laughs> that was super cringy. What's up you guys, it's Jose Zaniga from Teaching Men's Fashion and for today's video I want to go over five things that I think only super stylish men know and the reason why I say this is because I feel that as you progress in your style, in your style you start learning things that the average guy just doesn't know about. So before we get into it, I do want to talk about our friends over at The Fifth Watches. Today's video is Friday's video, so it is brought to you by The Fifth Watches. Now this is a watch company that I definitely recommend for a lot of guys, especially if you're younger and looking just for one versatile piece that is affordable. This is a watch company you guys need to check out because the price point is right, the quality is right, and most importantly, the aesthetics and style is right. This is a piece that you can wear comfortably with a t-shirt and shorts or with a suit. And that's what makes the fifth watch is so great. It's minimalist design that makes it one of my favorite pieces that I have in my collection. So I'm going to have the fifth watches linked down below with a special discount code for you guys so you guys can check it out. I'm telling you guys, once you add this watch to your collection, you're not gonna want to take it off your wrist it's a great piece so go ahead and check the link down below and use that discount code to get it at even better price ah. So once your style starts developing, you understand the value of clothes, that little details really matter. So that's why every stylish guy should carry one emergency style pack. This means that you should have a lint roller, you never want to look dirty, a tie to coat pen, these things are lifesavers. If you can get to the stain before it sinks in, you can salvage your clothing. And most importantly, some sort of alcohol wipe, baby wipes, carry these around. Because when you're wearing nice sneakers and if you get dirt on them, these alcohol wipes will be a lifesaver and will keep your sneakers in pristine shape. So say you have a shirt that fits a little bit oversized, you either don't have the money to tailor or just don't have the time, you can quickly visually tailor a shirt by using something called the military tuck. Super simple. All you want to do is grab the excess fabric on the sides and fold them back as you tuck in your shirt. You do that on both sides and automatically your shirt will have a more tailored appearance. So tip number three is a concept that you understand as your style matures. And that is if that there's a style or a trend that's very popular and everybody's doing, but it doesn't suit you, then you should skip that trend. And like I said, this is a concept or knowledge that you develop as you mature and something that I, a mistake that I've made before. But if there's something that's popular and doesn't suit you, skip it and focus on things that make you look better. So a good example, beard hair. Everybody's trying to grow out beards, but say a beard just doesn't suit your face shape or your personal style, skip that trend. So tip number four is to fix these wobbly ties. I've talked about this before, double-sided tape, but I have found an even more successful method to do it. So these ties that swing like this side to side looks kind of sloppy and messy. So a quick way, permanently leave your tie nicely centered all day, guaranteed, is to grab an old shirt that you definitely don't want to use anymore, you just want to throw away, it just doesn't work. Maybe it's stained, ripped, whatever. And you're gonna want to cut the shirt plank it. You only need two button spaces, so choose any two button spaces and cut a long strip of fabric. When you're done, you should end up with something similar to this, and this is all you need. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your tie. Again, make sure that the thin end is tucked in in that little loop. You're then going to grab that shirt that you just cut, slip it into the tie's slot, and then button that shirt onto the buttons of your shirt that you're wearing now. And now, your tie will always remain in place. And finally, the last style secret is if you wet your shoes. So let's say you have your nice, beautiful new pair of Allen Edman $400 shoes and you get stuck in the rain. Maybe you step in a puddle and now your shoes are soaked. But don't panic. You're a stylish guy. You know what to do. All you're going to do is as soon as you get home, you're going to grab a microfiber cloth and you're going to wipe down the shoe quickly and try to absorb as much exterior moisture as possible. Then you're going to grab newspaper and stuff your shoes until they're packed, both of them. And once the newspaper is saturated with the water, take that newspaper out and repeat the process until the point at which when you pull the newspaper out, it's almost dry because it sucked out all the water. When you're at that point, you're going to put in cedar shoe trees and the cedar shoe trees are going to absorb any of the leftover moisture. And finally, you're going to treat your shoes right and polish them quickly with a leather conditioner to recondition the leather and nourish it to make sure you avoid any damaging watermarks or stretching of leather and now your shoes are good as new and you don't have to panic. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and the fifth 
was nice enough to do a really great giveaway for the New Year's Eve and give back to you guys. So we're going to be giving away five of these amazing watches to five lucky viewers. All you have to do is go ahead and subscribe to the Fitz newsletter. I'm going to have a link down below to do that. You also want to subscribe to this channel, turn on notification posts, drop a like, drop a comment, and you're entered. And we're going to be choosing five winners a week from now. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.